Here to talk about some of the tooling that we've made recently is journeyman machinist Bruce Kirk. Hi. Uh, I'd like to show you some of the tooling that was made uh, in the work on the 844, the uh, staple uh, caps, the MKS caps, had to be removed to work on the inner firebox, and some of the tooling that was made up, uh, typically those are taken off with a plasma cutter or a torch, and we wanted to be able to cut them off mechanically. The tooling has taken off over a hundred of them, and it only required a couple of sharpenings. So the, uh, the progress of this and developing it on the 844 uh, will work real well when we get to the, uh, the big boy project, and it uh, looks like this tool is going to be a good one. Over here we have a mock-up of the mud ring of the UP844 and the UP4014 firebox consisting of multiple plates welded together in a fashion that mimics the mud ring or the foundation, the very bottom part of the boiler where the firebox is attached to. Here on the inside we have what's known as the firebox sheet. On the outer side we have the wrapper sheet, the outer side that can be seen. Inside you could see some of the test stay bolts that we've applied and the stay bolts are placed on what's known as a pitch and they distribute the forces between all of the stay bolts and then later down to the attachment point of the rivets at the very bottom part of the mud ring. A threaded stay bolt, or rigid stay bolt in this case, is installed in a hole that is drilled initially and then reamed and tapped to the correct dimension for the threads to be installed on a common lead from one sheet to the other. Then the stay bolt is trimmed. As it's trimmed, it's headed or beat it over by a stable forming tool. We have made these tools, had them custom made to suit the Union Pacific drawings. The forming process expands the threads of the stable into the sheet, helping create a very steam tight joint, as can be seen here. Once this is done, it's necessary that the telltale hole be reestablished, and the telltale hole provides an indication of breakage. As that telltale hole is cleaned with a special reaming tool, we are in the process of actually remaking the porous plug, which is a cement plug, that is then installed very carefully inside the telltale hole location. That prevents combustion, byproducts of combustion and sand and other debris from fouling and contaminating that hole location and rendering that test feature of the stay bolt uh, inadequate. Flexible stay bolts, as the name implied, offer flexibility on one side of the stay bolt connection. They're either welded with a full penetration process or in some cases threaded and headed over in a similar manner. Okay, we're out here on the shop floor with our Steam Era turret lathe. Garland Baker's advancing the stock, and we're going to make a rigid stay bolt. First step is to take the roller box tool, and we're going to turn the stock to pitch diameter. So he'll get that going, and we'll watch it go. As the roller box tool finishes up, we'll back the cutter off and then index to the thread roller. The thread roller actually, actually deforms the material and creates threads on the raw stock without cutting any material off. It creates a much stronger thread. The final step in the process is to part off the finished stable.
there you have it, a finished staple.